past weekend, and uh, it's been a while since, well, I guess last year I went, but uh, <laughs> other years it's been a, a while since I've been there, and it was just a blessing to go to men's retreat. Um, the fellowship that you can have with uh, your fellow church members, um, enjoying their testimony and their, the time that you can talk to them. Um, also, uh, the fellowship that you can have with people around the state that you uh, uh, know. Um, I saw men that used to attend here. I saw some uh, young men that used to work for me at the school. I saw um, men that were members at the Guthrie Center Church that, as I was a little one, grew up around. So just uh, getting to know those individuals again and, and talk to them. And uh, Bruce was um, one that likes to sit up front. And it was a blessing because to sit in front and hear the music from the platform, you didn't need a speaker, you didn't need a microphone or anything. Um, and then all the other hundreds of men behind you, uh, it's the best stereo system that you could get. Um, I think Bruce put uh, some of the music on, um, and uh, so if you look at what is it, Facebook, his Facebook page, you can get a little sense of what that's like. As Bruce and I were talking, uh, after, we, as we were leaving, we said, we need to encourage our wives to go to Lady Street Retreat. And so that's what we tried to do when we got home. Um, also, since Ladies Retreat is coming up, I'm going to make a commercial for any lady that wants to go to Ladies Retreat. Go. I've never been there, but uh, I'm sure that it's going to be just as good as what uh, we had at Men's Retreat. Um, our speaker was John Stewart. His testimony was that he was a uh, professional hockey player in, I think, two N NHL teams. Um, his dad, at the age of 11, I believe, asked him if he wanted to become a professional hockey player. And said, if you're going to be a professional hockey player, these are the things that we have to do to get you there. And obviously, it worked because he did get there. But then, as a man of around, I think, 28 or so, um, I don't even remember how he, he came to know the Lord, but I think he went into a church service and uh, was confronted with the need for salvation. And he then realized that he needed to be a disciple of Christ. And a disciple is one that is a follower of someone else. And uh, the first night he challenged us are we a disciple of Christ? And yes, we can we can come to church when the doors are open. But I think in um, John, um, chapter 8, 31, it says, Then Jesus said to them, those Jews who believed in him, If you abide in my word, and you are you are my disciples indeed. He challenged me that I'm not in in the word as often as I should be. I've been a Christian. I've accepted Christ's free gift for decades ago. But I haven't been faithful to reading God's word the way I should. Later on in the, uh, the weekend, he challenged us to deliberately and purposefully witness for Christ. I've been one that have said I'm not a speaker, and this might be evidence that I don't speak real well. But yet, it's not what I can do. It's in the power of Jesus Christ. You know, Amen. And He can work. And so, again, the challenge is am I a disciple? And from this weekend, I'm, I'm trusting that I will be obedient to Christ and be a testimony and a disciple for him. Amen.